Hello YouTube. There is a woodpecker pecking at my window at my house. Oh, I just got to my woodpecker. There's the first fire of the year. Just uh, burning some old uh, molding there. There's the molding. And I threw a log that was there that I burned last year. <coughs> it's right there. It's a dark one. And a uh, piece of 2 by 4 And I'll get the fire going more, but I'll watch the grass here because the grass is pretty dry. And uh, the woodshed's got to be uh, filled. We'll do that this year. Got to take those trees down right there so they can put the well in there. Got to move all that gravel and dirt. Got to get the tractor back up and running. Uh, I'm going to clean up the yard uh, tomorrow and uh, put the garden in. Or just uh, mark off where the garden is. Uh, my little brother is coming over uh, next weekend and we're going to spray some Roundup around the yard. And... Uh, Kill the weeds because it gets pretty weedy around here and then um, I'm gonna put the garden I'll just go over there I'll show you tomorrow too when I stake it off garden's gonna go on this side <clears throat> so, garden's gonna go right in here and I'm going to get some fill and I'm gonna backfill this right up underneath the windows there and taper it down slope it down over here but I'm gonna put the garden right in here so from the house gardens gonna go basically from those stumps there to where that uh, house wrap is there I put that house wrap down to last year to try to make a nice pass so the weeds wouldn't grow so high as I sprayed um some uh, roundup last year, but the weed, the weeds still came. They still came up, and so once I backfill, I'm gonna put that black carpet down, and uh, uh, then I'll uh, hopefully that'll that'll help, and then put some mud, I'll mud right over top of these uh, stumps here. Get that all graded. I'm gonna move this shed over here somewhere. So I can get all this taken care of because this <clears throat> this it needs uh I need to put rock in here like clean rock and so it could drain and then get pumped out into that field over there. And here's my handy dandy work. So I want to fix that sometime soon. So old tire from my Ford Explorer. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this yard cleaned up. It's pretty messy. Move things around. Cut all this wood into this wood's all garbage, so I'm gonna cut it all for the for the fire. It's no good. Same as this wood here. These were the wood. These were the, uh, the two by twelves that we used for the uh, the footing on the house. So. So I got some work cut out for me, and then uh, gonna get the inside all buttoned up as far as the uh, drywall and the mudding, and get it painted, and, and move on to the next step. With the uh, hopefully in another month we'll have the well and the septic tank in. So just wanted to do a quick <clears throat> and not so quick uh, update on the house. So, anyways, I'm gonna go in the house. And see if my water's boiling. I'm gonna cook up some some ribs and uh, uh, what else? Oh, and I'm gonna cook up. I uh, got some uh, red peppers. And I'm gonna cook that up with some potatoes and onions. And so, anyways, I'll just jump up here. Gotta pour another concrete slab down there so we have a centerpiece, and then get the stairs. And hopefully, I could do that this year too. So. Anyways, 
and I get to turn the oven on, I get the furnace on, turn this on to heat it up and heat up this olive oil. It was kind of frozen. I picked up more olive oil today. And I get this water. I'm going to put the uh, ribs in there and let them boil for a bit, and then I'm going to put them into a pan and make sweet and sour sauce. I'm going to try this uh, jalapeno ketchup in there to give it a little bit of a kick. But anyways, I'm going to get doing that and uh, tend to the yard. So I'll do another update later. I'd show you my goodies. I got my food. So I got these uh, peppers that were on sale so for a three pack, basically half price. Uh, I bought from the co op. I got some ribs. So I'm going to cook those. I'm going to put those in that pot there I was telling you about. And I got some potatoes. And I'm going to put some zucchini in there. And an onion. And some spices. Some Cabela spices, I always put that in there, so I'll show you that. I drip it with olive oil, I put butter in there, I wrap it up in tin foil. Some chipotle from Cabela's, that's Cabela sauce, so I'll give them a plug. And what else, I'm gonna, I picked up this Robin Hood Easy Blend, I guess it's a uh, flour for mixing up the roux for the sauce, just thickening it up. And I got Worcestershire sauce, which I already had. And I picked up vinegar, which I already had, because it's down here. This is the real stuff, the parents. And vinegar, but cooking with vinegar is great. Got all my other stuff in there. And butter, I got butter. And I picked up some eggs for the morning. I've already got some butcher cut bacon in the freezer. So, oh, and ice. I picked up a bag of ice. Because today, tonight, after dinner, and after I got my chores done, I am going to have a glass of... El Dorado 12 year rum. This stuff is good. And as you can see, I've still got a fair amount. So, when that bottle gets down to a quarter, I'm definitely buying another bottle of that. And I bought Pepsi. Because it goes good in there. So, anyways, just I'd update that update on the update of the house update. And, uh, now I'll get to putting the ribs in the water, let them sit there, and I'm going to go outside and do my chores. All right. Let's get to it. All right, so I started the sauce uh, for the ribs. The ribs are right there. And they are, they're done. They can actually come out of there and you know, cook them in here. And this is a sweet and sour sauce I made. I put uh, some... Uh, pepper in there, some orange pepper. So there it is, and onions, and there's uh, tomato ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, vinegar, and water. And then I'll add, um, I'm gonna add the rest of uh, these peppers here. And then I'm gonna thicken it up with uh, some flour. And then I'm gonna put the ribs in there and then pour the sauce over the ribs and then slow bake them in the oven. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you when I'm pouring the sauce over top of the ribs and then throw them in the oven and I'll show you the end result. I just took the ribs out of the water. I'm just going to let them rest for a bit. Um, I poured some olive oil over top of them and the bottom of the pan just to add for flavor when I do pour the sauce. Um, I'm just going to let that sit and do its thing. And I'm just going to wait. It's boiling now so I can make um, a little roux. Um, and then pour it into here and thicken the sauce and then pour it over there. So I'll do that now. 
All right, so here it is, ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna flip them on their backside and let them cook. I'm gonna wrap them with tin foil and put it in the oven, let it sit there for an hour or two and then eat. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek. Oh, there it is, look at that. It's cooking nice. I took the, uh, the top off, let it brown. And you may have noticed there's one missing that was right there. Well, I ate it, man. It was good. So, I'll let this cook out. And I'll have supper for tomorrow. For now, I just poured myself a, bo a bottle. <laughs> poured myself a cup of El Dorado rum. And I'm going to mix her with some... <coughs> Coca-Cola. There she is there. Got the old uh cork top on them. There it is. It's the good stuff. I highly recommend it if you're a rum drinker. It's really good. Anyways. I'm going to get to drinking this, and I'm going to let this sit in there for a little bit longer. I'm going to cook up some rice, too. i got to cook up some rice. And, um, what else? I made a list for tomorrow. All the stuff i got to get. i got to get some Roundup. What else i got to get? Downstairs, I was, gonna, I was thinking about... Let's take it downstairs. I should have grabbed my cup, but... Uh, Drinking the ladders are not good. Ugh. I haven't started yet, so. Just thinking. Start down here. Just thinking. Just turn this light on over here. Okay, that's a reach. Reach. Put that there. Oops. thinking that we're gonna put that in there we'll get uh, the rest of the wood for this and start putting together the deck over here and then eventually wrap around that way and then from here over there and then I have to get the inspector to look at this part and then once he's okay with that, then I'll put the deck on there. But uh, I'm thinking tomorrow I pick up a dozen PW, uh, 12 foot PWF wood, 2 by 8 by 12. So we'll see. I always think that I have enough time, but I always run out of it, so. But, I'm excited, it's a new year, and uh, looking forward to the well and the septic tank getting put in. And, I think I'll have enough to get this all done. So, it'll be good. Anyways, I'm gonna get to drinking, because, you know, I'm gonna have a couple drinks before I hit the hay, and, here. Had a fire earlier. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to do some yard work and then uh, I'll be in the house. But tomorrow's another day and we will do another video. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to grab some of this Pepsi here and have myself a nice drink.